Greetings, everyone. I'm Ambe Singh, and today I'm with my co-speaker, Mayus, for the episode 21 of the Power Pages Quick Tip series. In this episode, we will explore how to set up the page permission in the Power Pages. Please note, you can only manage restricted read permission, which control users' access to the page in the Design Studio. To manage the grant change permission, which control who can manage and publish the pages within the legacy site content editor, use the Power Pages management app for that one. Pages permission gives makers another way to control users' access to their Power Pages site. You can use the page permissions to make content available to anyone who visit a website or to restrict the access to the users who have a specific role. Also, the child pages can inherit the permission of a parent pages or have their own permission. Similarly, web pages on the page such as downloadable documents, CSS files, or the JavaScript files can inherit the permissions of the page have their own. There are two types of the access control rules, grant change and the restricted read. Grant change rules are permissive. They grant users the ability to do something. Restricted read rules are the restrictive. They restrict as an action to a limit set of the users. So let's start with the grant changes. So you can use a grant change rule to allow users who has the web role associated with the rules to publish content changes for the pages and all the child pages. Grant changes rules take a precedence over the restricted rules. Now, what about the restricted rules? So you can use the restricted rules to limit viewing the content of the page and the child pages in respect of the specific users. I'm talking about the options for the page permission. So the first one, you can enable this options on the home pages and on child pages that inherit the settings for their parent page. When you enable this, the page is publicly accessible on the web. And if it is not enabled, a lock icon will appear next to the page in the list indicating that it has an access restriction. To limit the access of the specific roles, you can disable this option. I want to choose who can see this page. The second option, when this option is selected, you can choose the web roles that have an access to the page. And the third one is apply these permissions to all files inherited by, the, by this page. You have to choose this option is a selected child web files or pages are only available to users who can access this page. There's a caution. You cannot select the setting from the home page or of a site. File the site's needs such as a bootstrap min.css and the theme.css are under the home page. So if you restrict these files to only authenticate users, a style are not applied to any pages, including the sign in page that are available anonymously. Now I would like to request Myers to demo how to use the page permission in the Power Pages. So over to you, Myers. Thanks, Ambesh. Yeah, um, for the use case, I prepared here um, a, a, a page called My Events, and on this I have a list. But if we take a look at the permissions of this list, um, only authenticated users can read. Um, Let's open this, can read this entity, my events. Um, so if we take a look at this here in the site with my events, uh, the, the table permission makes sure the site behaves correctly. It will not show me the events because I am not logged in and I don't have the permissions. But that also means, okay, I can still see the page for no reason. Um, so it would be much nicer if I don't see the my events anyhow and only after a lot in I see it. And that is what you just described. So let's um, let's do this. Uh, so you go here with page settings for my events and then here under permissions, I want to choose who can use this so only authenticated users and also this um the setting right here is is auto selected for me um yeah so that would be for example interesting i can show you the second sample here with my secret event my secret event is restricted even further to a custom web role 
and so not the authenticated users ones, but even further role. And this role, uh, you, you could create this, for example, if you have invitees who only um, are able to access this page. But you need to think about how do you assign this web role to these people? So could be something like a flow, right? Everyone who is invited to an event and you, I don't know, send out the invites, you also associate the web role, um, but you need to think about it. So that I have done this, let's preview again. And now if, the, uh, if my event site or the home site shows up again, so right now uh, the page has loaded and it has now thrown me from the my events you see here in the return URL uh, to, to the login um, page, which we have still customized from uh, episode 20. Um, but in the navigation, you also already see my events is gone. There's only the home button now. So let me log in here. Um, and then we will see my events again in the navigation. There we go, my events. Now the table permissions also applied. I see something and I see the my events here, but still because I do not have the web role, I don't see it in the, um, uh, I don't see the my secret event thing. So if I add now to myself this web role, let me go here to the contact. So let me open up my contact here and assign it the web role, the my secret invitees web role. Um, and then I will preview the page again. And now we see here the my events got a drop down menu because there's now my secret event also. And this just has a text right now, but I can now see this page and only if I have the special web role. So that is how you uh, restrict read to a specific web page, which is the main uh, the, the main use case of this now because the old content editor is deprecated by now, so you do it now with the um, with the Maker portal here with Make Power Pages Microsoft.com. Um, so restrict read is a nice functionality to restrict things to authenticated users only, which is probably more common, and even to only certain user groups like you would with security roles in Dynamics. And with that, over to you, Ambesh. Thank you so much, Maya. So stay tuned to this channel by subscribing and pressing the bell icon, share the videos with your friends and colleagues who are having same skill sets like you or want to deep dive into the power pages. We will be coming up with more interesting tips, knowledge sharing and the lesson learning around the power pages. Till that, have a nice time and happy learning. Bye.